Hi, welcome back. I'm Tammy and welcome to my channel. We are going to be doing um, a really fun look today. I have pretty much all my makeup on except for my eyes and lipstick of course. So um, we this look is going to be um, the idea came from my cousin's daughter. Um, her name is Emma Bell, and she wanted me to create a look inspired by a Disney princess. Um, and she picked Ariel, so the Little Mermaid. I thought that was just a really cute idea. And so, and I also wanted to use a new palette that I got, and I'm super excited. And you're going to know why really soon when I tell you what palette I got. Because, you, you know, which palette is my favorite and by who. So, da, 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 da. so Jaclyn Hill released a volume two for, um, from her original palette by Morphe. So, this is the new palette by Jaclyn Hill. And so, when she said that she wanted... Um, Emma wanted me to do a Disney princess look. I was like, eh. so this is perfect because there's a lot of good shades that would be really good with this one. And I was like, yay. And if you see some little white specks, it's because powder, not because the palette. <laughs> because I actually filmed earlier and I forgot to turn the sound on my camera. And so I had to reshoot. And so that will explain, you know, the white powder. So anyway, so this is the new palette. And super excited to use this. It's beautiful. It performs like a dream. But that is no surprise. She did not disappoint. Because the original palette performs like a dream too. And I love them both. They are amazing. If you don't have one... You should go get them both. Like, no joke. I mean, Jaclyn Hill makes some amazing eyeshadows, highlighters, brushes. You do not know what you're missing if you don't own any of her stuff. Like, you should run out, like, right now and go get them. Like, run. After you watch this video, run that right now. Go. After this video, go. Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> so, I am, I, like I said, I have foundation on. So, I'm going to put powder um, underneath my eyes. So I can catch fall up and also to kind of like, you know, to help with the line. There we go. I just like to do that. And so, but yes, Emma was so excited for me to do this. And I was excited to, to do this. I actually thought it was a really good idea. And it would make for a really fun look and a really vibrant look. But I also wanted to make it kind of like, not so, um, you know, where it could be kind of, not so cost to me because like the one a lot of ones on the pin on Pinterest was like you know they had where you use like fishnet and light scales and like made it more cost to me so I wanted to make it where it wasn't as cost to me you know so I'm not gonna do like where it looks like a mermaid where it has like fish scales and rhinestones and which those looks are really cool but since it's not October, I mean, it is February. And my son actually has, like, a doctor's appointment. You know, 
I can't go to the doctor's appointment like that. That would be kind of weird. You know, can you imagine? People would look at me weird. But anyway. So, I uh, and, so yeah. So, I'm super excited. So, the first color I'm dipping into is Certified. And it's like, it's just all white. Because, you know, I like to always, like, lay down. Like, just kind of a nice base shade to kind of just get the look kind of going, you know, to, to help with the transition. Um, and then I'm going to go in to Therapy Sesh. This is just a light purple because you know Ariel she has kind of purple seashells. These colors are so blend so good. I just can't wait to use this palette. I'm so, so excited. It came Monday evening and it was like Christmas. Like I worked Monday evening at Beauty Brands at the salon and I waited all day for it and I was really hoping I would get it before I went to work, you know. So I like waited all day before, you know. <laughs> Oh, don't do your makeup yet. Like, and the whole time I was doing my makeup, I was like, oh, is he here yet? Is he here? I kept on looking at the door and, like, checking outside to see if my package was here. It was like, oh, please come, please come. And now it didn't come. And so my husband, he <laughs> messaged me, your package is here, your makeup's here, your makeup's here. Like, yay! And then I got off at 9 o'clock and I pretty much got home, opened up my stuff, and went to bed. So I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get to play with it. And I also got her breast set, which is so, so amazing. So amazing. All of it's so good. So happy I got it all. You know. Sometimes you just got to treat yourself. I mean, one can say I treat myself a little too much with makeup. You know, to each their own opinions, I guess. To each their own opinions. We all got our things, right? My kids got video games, my husband's got cars, I have makeup. And I just do that to kind of blend in that line because really like blend and building out the, your eyeshadows, that's what really helps like a look come together and to soften it, the look. And you just really... I think that's what's really important with the eyeshadow is to help blend and to keep that really nice. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to go into is another purple and it's not my journey and it's a little darker of a purple. And I love this purple. Of course, as I probably said, purple is like my color like I have always loved purple like purple is just oh that is like my fave I don't know when I haven't loved purple, but 
oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. And these purples of this palette, oh, so happy. So happy. And then this whole palette just makes me happy. <laughs> I'm such a dork that I'm getting this excited about a palette. But, you know, that's probably a good reason why I started this channel. Because I just wanted to share my love for makeup and hair. And just beauty in general. I just have such a passion for this. For beauty and makeup. something I'm kind of excited about at my work. We are doing Kansas City Fashion Week and I get to do hair for it. I'm just so excited. I went and got a mannequin head today to start practicing the look. I'm like so excited for I didn't realize that until I started like putting like ideas for the, the look and Oh my god, I mean, I get ahead. I'm like totally like geeking out. I like it's kind of weird. I don't know if that just makes me a total dork or just I just really care about what I do. I don't know. Maybe it's a toss up dork. I'm just really passionate. Who is ready for spring? I'm so sick of the cold. But somebody told me that spring's supposed to come early. Please, spring. Spring, if you, are you listening? Come early. Come early, please. So sick of winter. This just would be now so nice. Going back into the lighter purple shade. To kind of blend out those hard edges and then my husband and my kids have been sick with the flu I think I said that in my last video but my kids got better and then my husband got it and, uh, you know, so at least the kids are on the mend, and I think Corey's on the tail end of it. You know, and so, you know, just a lot of cleaning, and hopefully we don't keep on getting it over and over again and nobody else gets sick. It's just so hard when everybody's so drained and tired of being sick and no fun. Alright. So now I'm going to kind of go into a green in like kind of the... I'm kind of the outer V, like right in here. It's like a dark green. I mean, I know that her fins are not this dark because it's kind of like an emerald, but I wanted to do like a green. I'm 
I do have like Go back into the purple shade. So what is your guys' favorite princesses beside the Ariel? I mean, Ariel's always been one of my favorites, but I've also loved some of the other ones too. Like Belle, I mean, of course Belle, because for one, I love to read. And so I've always been very partial to Belle because Brunette loves to read. I just thought that was really cool. And um, Jasmine. Who else was there? That was really. I also. Some of the. One of the older ones I always liked. Aurora. I know that sounds so like, I guess like cliche, but I always did like Aurora. Okay, so now that I'm going to go in with another shade from her first palette to kind of get more of her fin color. To bring that out. kind of talking to myself like because <laughs> I changed it from earlier because I did it one way and then I was kind of like I didn't love it and then I was like well let me try something else you know creative process I guess you know sometimes you just gotta kind of play around to you find the right thing that works. I don't know. Fun thing about makeup, you know, you can wash it off if you don't love it. Right? I do like that better. Last time I tried to put red in it, but then I was also wearing a red lip and I was like, oh, that's too much. It didn't quite look like as much as Ariel as I wanted it, you know, because I still wanted it to stay Ariel. So I think I'm liking this better. I'm going to do a little pool party right here. 
because I just think I just really wanted to use a little of the her pool party because it's like you kind of have to use pool party for a mermaid look right it's kind of fitting <laughs> I mean it kind of makes sense right I mean, I thought it would make sense. Maybe I'm just a dork. I keep on calling myself a dork in this video. I mean, you could probably make a drinking game if you're of age. Unless you're my children, then don't listen to that part. Because I don't condone that at all. Okay, so brush away the powder because now we're going to do the under eye. And I'm going to, okay. okay I'm going to go in with. I'm going to go in with Not My Journey. And then I'm going to go into therapy sesh, wipe out the excess. No, I keep on saying it, but if you weren't planning on getting this palette, you so should. Or the first one. If you haven't gotten either one or haven't thought about getting either of her palettes, you should get at least one of them. If you're scared of all the bright colors, get the original. You would not be disappointed. I promise you. And I'm not sponsored by Morphe. <laughs> at all. They don't even know who I am. So I'm going to put on some eyeliner, some mascara, lipstick, and then I'm going to be done. And I like this a lot better than when I first attempted this inspo.
I think this came out a lot. I just like it a little. I like it. Because I felt like the last one there was just something missing. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't put my finger on it. So well, it was good. Then I forgot to put turn the sound on. Blessing in disguise. Alright. Okay, so that is on okay so now I'm going to put on some lipstick and I'm going to put on Smashbox Bang Bang because I wanted a red lip since my hair's not red and I'm not like I said it's I'm not doing it for a costume and so I wanted to bring some red into it so I thought ooh a red lip So there is my Little Mermaid inspired look for Miss Emma Bell. I hope Emma likes this and you can see how this came together. Do you guys think, what do you think? Do you see, see the inspiration come together? Um, Give it a thumbs up if you like this and want to see more Disney inspired looks using different palettes. Let me know in the comments. Um, see you next time. You know what to do. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Bye.